Hello Lola's, welcome back. So I'm here with Nori and Nori is Nori Brielle. Um, she got her middle name from Queen Bee. Um, she suggested that name and I liked it. <laughs> and so I, the middle name, and so I kept her first name and went with that. I'm gonna take her out of this stuff. But um, I know we talk about this over and over again about armatures and with and without armatures. And I just wanna talk about it a little bit more as I take her out of this so you guys can see her with just a diaper on. Um, Nori is like 14 and a half inches. So she's, a, she's what we call a micro preemie. And she's full body silicone and she does have the squishy tummy. Um, kit tummy was a lot more fluid than uh, hers, but I like hers too. Um, now she has full armatures in her arms and in her legs and I really love armatures I like babies with and without armatures but that's just you know my preference a lot of people are afraid of them they're afraid that eventually they'll pop through or you know or you know what if they break well the good thing is if they break they just break and you know you're, it, it just won't hold the pose, but it'll feel like the baby has a bone still. Um, but the you don't hear about them breaking as often. You know, if you're careful with your babies and you're gentle with them and you're treating them like you just paid a whole bunch of money, which I'm sure you did, <laughs> you should be fine with armatures. You know, deciding if you want armatures or not is, you know, usually a very big decision because you can't, you know, go in and take them out, right? I mean, I guess some people could if you send them to somebody, but um, I my thing is with inserting and taking them out after they're already painted, you have to be sure that you got someone that knows what they're doing when they do it and you have the risk of needing to match the color to, you know, repair the part where they enter it in, depending on, again, the experience of the person that's inserting the armatures and where they're doing them at. I have actually had armatures done before or adjusted or whatever the case may be um, after a doll was painted and you couldn't even see where they went in. Uh oh, I just scratched her. Um, but anyway, so you, it's a, it's a, it's a, a hard choice. It's like, do I get them or do I not? Because if I don't, you know, and then I don't like the 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 baby is too wiggly, you know, I'm stuck. And if I do, and I, they're too stiff then I'm stuck. So it's really a hard decision. For me, I I made the choice and I decided because I felt like she's so tiny that I would probably not do a lot of holding her as much. And I will pick Nori up. Trust, I do pick her up. But I don't hold her as much as I would my full-size babies. As much as I just love to pose her. I just love being able to do all types of poses with her. Because she's just so cute and tiny. And I like the full armatures that go all the way up in the hips. Because it allowed me to be able to close her legs or open them. So, and it, it really, you know, allowed me to be able to do a lot with, with her. But, on the flip side, sometimes I don't want armatures because I don't want the baby to be stiff. 
and when I say stiff, her head will still wobble, her core is not stiff, but she will stay. She will, Nothing is going to dangle or move or anything when you pick her up. And although people like to say, oh, babies, you know, babies have bones and they're not loose and soft like that. But the thing is, is if you pick up a baby, normally you'll see their little leg dangle or their their arm, you know, hang, they'll move their hand down or something like that. So when you pick a baby up without armatures and they the, the, the limbs ding, dangle a little bit, it looks as if the baby is actually moving and wiggling. And it is just, it looks real realistic to me. It looks more realistic than picking up a baby with armatures. That's just my personal opinion. Um, when when you got the full armatures. Now, in the arms, a lot of times, just in the arms is, I, I almost always want them just in the arms. Um, in the legs, I usually let them be free. So it's kind of like you having the best of both worlds. So I have the loose, dangly legs, but I have more structure with the arms and they're not flailing, hanging all wiggly, squiggly down um, without them. So it's, it's definitely a personal choice of what you want. <laughs> Look at her little belly, little pot belly. It's, it's all about what you want in your, in your baby. Um, but it's definitely something you should give a lot of thought to of what you want to you know, how you want to enjoy your baby when you get it home. Are you a person that just like to dress your baby up a lot and take pictures and pose them and you're not really one that actually hold them a whole lot, you know? Because some of us, you know, a lot of people lead on to lead you to believe that they, all they do is sit and rock their babies. But in actuality, once they're offline and all that, they don't even, you know, go the baby's way and stuff like that so if you're a person that just love posing and dressing and armatures are available and you're kind of on the fence about it i would say you probably would like them because it'll allow you to take even more poses with photographs and stuff like that but if you're a person that actually likes to put your babies in sleepers you know sit in your rocking chair and just rock and hold a baby then i don't think you know, I think you will enjoy the, the loose feel of without armatures in that that way. Because especially if it's a really soft silicone, because usually they can still bend and pose pretty nice without armatures. But they feel like so nice in like sleepers and stuff because they like just they move so fluid. I don't know. It's just hard to explain. But yeah. But, you know, with armatures, you don't, you still don't ever want to try to like bend her arm backwards or do something that, you know, where you got to force the armature. It should be a natural move, you know. Um, I'm never going to like try to force her, her legs in or arms in something in a very, you know, weird, you know, position because then, yeah, you probably would find a way to to break break them so that's all I have to say on armatures and if you would let me know in the comment section if you have a baby with armatures if you like armatures or you don't like armatures um, and <laughs> why <laughs> I love my my little and like I said a lot of people don't do them all the way full but some of them do and it's like some of them they go all the way like in the in the in the 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 wrist and the hands and stuff and you can you know flick their hands and all that and stuff but yeah so anyway that's my spill on armatures oh Oh, and one other thing, I do like soft armatures. I always ask, like, is it a soft armature? And some people don't really know what's the difference of them, but I have had armatures where they feel like it's a whole coat hanger in them, and they, 
those are scary. But I think most people today are using the soft armatures. Um, a lot of people are like, if, if they're telling you, if you got to take two hands and stuff to move the armatures and it's like you got to struggle to make move the armatures, then those kind, I, I, I probably wouldn't care for as much um, as, you know, the ones that's more easy to move like Nori's. So that's that. And that's all I have to say. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.